previously on Two Texans Travel. We get up early and sit through Austin traffic to finally get our axle fixed. Good morning. Today we're leaving McKinney Falls again, but this time we are headed to the beach. We're going to Corpus Christi and it's going to be awesome. We are staying on Mustang Island, right on the island, we're driving the trailer to the ocean today. And it's going to be great. We've got our axle fixed, we've got our tire fixed, we've got everything fixed as much as possible. <laughs> I think the wear and tear of our travels is showing and it's because we're having a great time. But we're excited to move out today and head to Corpus Christi. So we'll see you when we get there. Oh, there's a little thing up there. Why is that so high? Oh my god, I'm not gonna be able to. <laughs> One set of axles per platform. Driver responsible for having a truck correctly on scale. Release brakes, call Waymaster, press button, wait for response. Is it fueled as we wait to get there? Can you reach that? Uh, oh, there's, there's one down there. Okay. So let me make sure, so I gotta make sure one set of axles per platform. Call way mask. Personal scale? Say. Personal it, way? Say it's a personal way. Yeah. And then you're gonna have to make up a vehicle number. Okay, personal way. Here, you want this? Both way or leeway? Uh, it's a personal way. So you want the truck and the trailer or just the trailer? Uh, could I get them all? Yes, you can get it all. And the trailer? Separate? The truck and the trailer. And the, will the trailer be separate too? So, if you back up just a little bit so that the wheels of the trailer are on that very back scale, Okay. Then it will weigh on that back scale all by itself. Okay, let me do that then. So I need to back up just a little bit. Are we going to be able to get the truck? Do you want it all or just the trailer? Like, I thought we I decided all. All, yeah. That's Is what, this all? I'm, I'm gonna double check. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this uh, the truck. Yeah. We're gonna have the truck on scale two, and then try to have just the trailer alone on scale three. Okay, you want me to drop it? Or? No, 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 oh, okay. No. Yeah, like if you want, you can move the truck up all the way on this scale, then between these yellow, and then we'll have the trailer right here. Okay, you just tell me when to stop or? Oh uh, yeah, I'll tell you. Okay. I know. It's helpful. We don't wow. know what we're doing. <laughs> Where can I go? I don't know. Where is the fuel desk? We 
She's got her way. Maybe I can just park on the other yeah. side. Too bad we can't get diesel. Nope. We'll just get gas later. That's, that's awesome, man. That's cool. I'm glad we did that. So, that's our total. 12680. That's the trailer. And then that's the truck. I'm pretty sure that's under. We'll have to look yeah. at what our gross vehicle weight is because I can't remember, but we should be right at it. Yeah. Okay, let's get out of this truck stop. So we stopped at the TA here in New Braunfels, Texas. And it was super friendly. The people running the cat scale awesome helped us out we look like total noobs we didn't know where the hell to go on the scale or anything like that but they were like back up do this as you've seen but just wanted to give a shout out to the cat scale people at new Braunfels. well it was and actually sorry to interrupt you it was actually just the gas station clerk like they just have a certified scale machine back there but it, she was checking people out and selling food, and then she's like, "Okay, you're wait." And then she, so she was running it while checking people out. So nice. Big shout out to her. We got weighed. I feel like we are under. Like even if we shift a thousand pounds, well, we can't shift a thousand. I don't know how to read this. It's like helpful, but not helpful. So even if, so I think the tongue weight, we'll, we'll have to look at the specs, but my gut or my memory, which is terrible, says the tongue weight would be about 600 pounds. So even if we added the 600 pounds to that trailer axle, that 5,800, mm -hmm. we're still under our max, yep. the trailer's max weight.
don't know. It's not due to weight. Potentially due to the people that ran it off the road and probably overweighted it before us, but we don't know. us a present. Shiner IPA. Wicked Juicy. Mm. Pineapple and Coconut IPA. We just got here to Corpus Christi, Mustang Island State Park, and it's time for our after passage beer. Right. So it's like a pina colada. Oh, it smells good. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. pretty good oh man oh it's delicious it's so good nice made it made it woo, woo, woo. but we're not all smiles right now we're some smiles but some sad faces <sighs> we've discovered more problems <laughs> with our new axle <laughs> so we told you about the center cap showed you the duct tape job and we didn't really think we needed to pop off another center cap to like check their work. But yeah, just... in order to size it so that Shoreline could order us a new set, we had to pop off one of these guys. And we're like, oh, that looks really different. That's nice and clean and it's got mm -hmm. the plug and... Maybe, is it still open yeah. down here? Yeah, I can, Let's I'll go show. take a little tour. All right, let's check it out. So, I know, I know. Remember when I was bragging about my duct tape job? So this is what it looks like whenever we got back from the shop. There's a black cap that Shannon had in her hand that covers this that popped off. But yesterday, I didn't really think much of it. I knew it looked weird, but I didn't really... I, assumed the other axles look like that that's our freaking axle bearings i think i don't know all i know is that there's a bunch of grease exposed and it's starting to get thrown around we popped off the other cap this is what the other axles look like nice and clean there's this center hub cap deal with this this is a plug that you can pop off anyway this is what it's supposed to look like this is what it looks like, and I'm thinking it's look dangerous, but anyway. We called them and complained, and they're going to get us taken care of. We're waiting on a call back, so Take we'll care. see. I did air quotes. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we? We're at Mustang Island State Park here in Corpus Christi. We just got here today, and it's a little weird. It's a parking lot. Uh, but it's real chill. People are nice. We're walking out to the beach. It's got a good vibe. I'm liking the vibe. Let's go check out the he beach. He only likes it because he has red solar cup with beer in it.
<laughs> Hello. Recently in our stay from Granbury, we got something amazing. It's a little something called Instant Pot. Here we have our Instant Pot. So we have one cup of water and green beans in our pot. And we're trying to figure out how to cook them in the pressure cooker. And you can set it to... Do I need to put the lid on, I'm assuming? Yes. Ceiling. Yep, set it to ceiling. Use the pressure cook manual setting to cook the green beans at high pressure. For crisp or tender green beans, pressure at zero. Set the time to zero. For softer, do one to three minutes. Pressure high, zero minutes. Right. Three beeps, so it's working. So it should be about eight to 10 minutes. Right. So our green beans just finished on the pressure cook. Now it's on keep warm. And what we have to do is relieve the pressure. So I'm gonna turn it. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my God. We gotta research in how to do this clean but it's gonna shoot water everywhere I'm actually gonna turn it off I mean that's a lot of moisture that we don't need in the RV <laughs> <laughs> smells like green beans mm -hmm. Okay, let's check it out. Let's check it out. <laughs> Which way do you want to go? This way. Steamy greenies. Hot. Good. <laughs> and crunchy? Good. Oh. <laughs> hey, time to eat. How is it? I couldn't oh. wait. Look at that meal. This chicken is perfect. And the green beans are great and potatoes are great. And the salad will be great too. Grilled up today, fresh. Instant pot. Green beans. Green beans and microwave potatoes. Looks good. What we get? Grease caps. Grease caps. Two. Okay. And those are our center caps, I bet. Interesting. Whoa. Not, those aren't going to fit. Those have those freaking weird pin things. Springs. Oh. Oh, maybe that's what they're. Yeah, okay. These are cheap. AF. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Oh, that's correct. Yep. That's 
go pop them on. So we just got our parts in. We got new caps. And this is uh, what they call it a grease, grease cap. Grease cap with our plug here. And then if I pop this up, this is one of our old ones. So it should just go right in there. And then we'll just So we got it in there. Yeah, kind it's, of, it's I not think. fully secure <laughs> yet. It took us like 30 minutes to figure out a tool and a proper combination. But all right, I'm gonna brace it. Now I need to hit on the other side of the brace. No, I need to no, I need to hit it on top where I was hitting. Yeah. Is that doing it? I feel I like it, so. but I yeah. felt like it came at the bottom more. Oh, I, th I think, no. I still want to hammer it in the top a little more. Okay. Okay, you know. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now if I can just gently tap it. I should brace whatever other side opposite of where you're going to hit. I'm thinking bottom. Bottom. Okay, now top. I feel like we're in. Yeah. You want to hit the sides? Yeah. Yeah, it feels like it's not going. I think that's it. I mean, that's not coming off. Good job. That was a lot harder than it looks. Yeah. Nothing is easy. Anytime you'd hit this side, this side would pop out. So mm -hmm. one person had to brace like Shannon was doing, and then the other person had to. I hope their thumbs didn't get smashed. That was a balance. Okay, let's get the cap on. These are your center wheel caps. Supposed to just pop on. What's that metal thing? This metal piece is like a spring that pushes, it puts pressure on these pins mm. to help it from slipping out. And it just pops in and out. Can you like hook one in? Dude, it is too big. Push that down so you don't rip it off. Oh my gosh, it's just snapped in half. That's because they're too big. Too. These are good and solid. Lord. <laughs> well, that's done and we can't return that. <laughs> Thank you.
up next on Two Texans Travel. We all enjoyed living life at the beach. Just cheers. cheers. Like and subscribe. Damn it. <laughs> Don't say damn it, you can still use it. Okay. Try again. That's the problem with these, they're too big. This is your captain speaking. Better buckle up, it's gonna be long haul. Yeah, uh, this is your captain speaking. Yeah, uh, please buckle up, it's gonna be a long haul. Why are you doing that? Road trip captain. Captain's in charge. He's been doing that all morning, saying he's the captain, and I've heard it about a million times already. Just, I've only been up for like three. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Perfect timing. What do you know? It's big old trucks coming by. Hey, Probably whenever I needed it. Yeah, that's it. This is our home for the next few days. We've heard a lot about Instant Pot, and we don't know a lot about it, but what we do know is that people swear by it and say it changes their life. It's not. Full length. I need to hit both sides. 